because we're a music podcast, we like to talk about uh, our favorite musicians. And now we're going to talk about, you know, we can uh, ask about the looks and of some musicians that we liked. Uh, do you have a few? I, ge- I gave you, you know, I, that was your homework assignment. Find some musicians that, that have a great stat or a great mo. Mo. A mo. Nice. Nailed it. Yeah. yeah. Well, it goes <laughs> along with your Mark Spitz comment. You can call it a stash. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, totally. And it's funny, you guys aren't the first ones to bring this up or ask me uh, who my favorite, you know, musician with a mustache is. Um, I, I think the most iconic is probably Freddie, Freddie Mercury, from, you know, that, that that goes without saying he was, he was a walking icon himself. We actually, uh, a couple of our conference rooms here in, in Santa Monica, one of them's called Freddie Mercury, and the other one is called Prince. Prince, believe mm-hmm. it or not, had a, you know, a little thin mustache himself, mm-hmm. but I think those two are probably our biggest ones. He had, yeah, Prince had like a the Pedro. I think every stash has a name, and I think Prince's was the Pedro, which is just kind of like the creepy little mm-hmm. caterpillar look. Yep. And then um, I'm a big Jimi Hendrix Hendrix fan. He, I, if I'm not mistaken, I think he had some handlebars at some point, or at least maybe the Pedro as well. Um, but Jimi <laughs> Hendrix is up there. And then a sneaky one that I love is Andre 3000. Uh huh. Uh, no one really thinks of him yeah. for the mustache, yeah. but. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I think his is more of like a pencil thin type mustache as well. Yeah. But again, all very iconic. He did play Jimi Hendrix in a movie. If you happen to see that, there you go. Yeah. It very, he did a good job with that. So yeah, those are those are probably my biggest four or five. And I actually come from a musical background. You guys will appreciate this. My mom was a bassist in the Go Go's back in the. Uh, Hold in on. The, yeah, before I, I should back before, up. before, before they, like, Kathy really, before, before Kathy. Before, Right yeah, before they Wait. blew up, it was. Hold on, because we've yeah we've talked yes. with we've talked with a couple Go Go's and we've talked about pre Kathy and your mom. Wait, give me your give me her name. What her name was Catherine Peyron. She was a little French lady. Um, I think she was only with the band for three or four months, kind of filling in for I forget. I think the bassist either left or she was filling in before they like really blew up and became famous, but. She was in that whole punk rock scene, man, like used to brush shoulders with Prince and Bono and a bunch of other cool people. And so I, you know, it's, it's cool because I, I grew up in Virginia, but my mom lived in L.A., you mm-hmm. know, when she was in her in her early 20s. And it's cool moving out here a couple of years ago and just kind of seeing uh, where she lived in West Hollywood and all that. So it's it's amazing how life comes full circle. But, yeah, she was a little she was a punk rock badass herself. Hey, that's amazing. And so, Dave, I think that that you remember because we we have the whole story about how Kathy Valentine came into the band and the bass is left. She must have maybe she filled in, Dave, where you have to do a little bit of research because they're one of our our favorite bands and we we have the two of them on the podcast. Well, she must have been some other bands if if, uh, she was on she was on the scene there. What? Yeah. She she remember the name of some of these bands? I don't honestly. I, I, I mean, she kind of she floated around, and I think she she was kind of a filler for for a lot of bands. But um, yeah, her name was Catherine Peyron. She actually looks like another one of the band members, ironically. Um, so just a cool little nugget. I figured I'd throw that out there, and you guys that is, appreciate that. Yeah, I love that. That Almost. is so cool. <laughs> yeah, totally. Man. She was awesome. She's actually so unfortunately. My mom has since passed. Um, she uh, lost her life to suicide about 10 years ago. And she's the inspiration for for why I work at Movember um, and kind of why I moved out to L.A. So, again, amazing how life comes full circle. And um, it's, a, it's a cool way to honor her and in the, in the work that I do. So, again, I kind of a, appreciate the the crossover between music and and Movember and men's health. So I appreciate you guys uh, bringing awareness to this. 